The following video is a mirror from Dead Kennedy in space. This is a very serious topic that needs to end. Please, this video is not for the faint of heart and may cause some issues with people. Viewer discretion is advised. This video is going to contain a lot of bad language, and words that might trigger some people. If you are a survivor of a particular R-word used to describe a kind of assault, you may not want to watch. However, I have good reasons for this extreme language. I hope you understand. <sighs> Today, you're going to see a new side of me. I've never really gotten angry on my channel. Frustrated with flat earth stupidity? Yes, but not angry. However, today I am angry. Today I am beyond angry. And I need everyone to understand why. There is a growing movement on the internet that has a terrible, despicable, atrocious message behind it. That pedophilia is not a criminal or moral offense. Did you hear me? I want to say that again and I want to use different words that will drive home my current state of mind. Raping children is not a bad thing. I was completely baffled when I first discovered this. I've heard of this referred to as satire before. There was even a meme that briefly existed that the LGBTQ movement was going to add a P at the end, standing of course for pedosexual. But that was a literal fucking joke. A joke in poor taste? Absolutely, but a joke nonetheless. What I'm referring to now appears to not be a joke. I first heard about this over Twitter. Someone named Veteran Atheist, who I've taken an immediate liking to despite not being an atheist, more of an agnostic, posted a link to a live stream with a disturbing title. Is pedophilia wrong? I wasn't able to watch the stream when it was on, but I commented with my only thoughts. I'm confused. Is someone claiming this is a valid question? The answer is yes, and there is no argument there. Pedophilia is rape, rape is wrong. End of story. And I stand by that 100 fucking percent. In response to me, veteran atheist shared a video he'd made on the subject, in which he was in a live stream with one of these child rapist apologists. The person was stating that in some countries where child pornography is apparently fucking somehow legal, the statistics show that cases of child molestation drastically go down. I mean, the, the fact is, statistics, and I'm going to get myself kicked out now, right? The fact is, statistics have shown that um, when in places where por pornography is legal, or when in places like, uh, you know, the, these former Soviet states, when they went from Soviet, where pornography was illegal, to where pornography was legal, the uh, number of instances of child rape actually went down. I mean, child pornography. I don't think I said that clearly. Uh, what did you say? Uh, if you make child, when child pornography is legal, you reduce the number of cases of child rapes and molestations. Veteran atheist, like me, was rightly horrified by this statement. Here's the thing, and I'm somewhat re-quoting him here. Even if that were a fact, it's one of the worst arguments I've ever heard. The simple fact is, in order to create child pornography, one first has to agree that they approve of an industry for it being created. And the idea of an entire industry dedicated to something that is straight out of the worst Serbian horror film ever made? No. Absolutely fucking not. Second of all, here's a simple fact. In order to create child pornography to combat child molestation, one needs to molest a child. We are talking about government-regulated rape of children here, people. How in the absolute blue fuck can you moralize that? No. The person who was putting forth this statement was telling Veteran to do his own research on the subject, which Veteran found appalling. 
I'm going to play a clip of his video here to drive home why. I'm sorry, it's fucking ridiculous. It makes no fucking sense. And he comes to me, he's like, you do the research. First of all, no, you're not going to catch me fucking typing in child pornography statistics into my Google. Not happening. I'm sorry. You know, I like not being on the FBI list. But guess what? <laughs> if I type that shit in, I guarantee you I will be. And then later on, he goes, well, you could, I made that point to him. And later on, he goes, well, you go to research in the library. Yeah, I'm going to go up to the little old library. And be like, can you please point me to, the, to your best sources of child pornography statistics? I'm going to look up in the Dewey do Decimal System. Uh, do child pornography. Yeah, that makes no fucking sense. First of all, I don't need to fucking look up resources and fucking statistics and know that child, fucking a child is bad. Period. Whether the fucking statistics go up and down or not to endorse an industry that allows kids to get fucked is wrong. And I don't care what effect it has on society. I don't care if it cures cancer. Now, what's worse, on the same day on Twitter, I came across more evidence of this chilling movement. Someone else posted this. I couldn't believe my eyes. A TED Talk defending pedophilia. A TED Talk? I used to watch TED Talks all the time. There were some really great talks about psychology, philosophy, technology, criticism of the education system. It was awesome. And now this? Pedophilia is not a natural sexual orientation. End of story. I'll go into more detail later, but for intellectual honesty's sake, I'm gonna try and break down this woman's despicable talk as best I can. By the way, of course a woman is delivering this speech. If it were a man looking like everyone you've ever seen on To Catch a Predator... Why don't you have a seat right there, please? Why don't you uh, have a seat right over the bar for me, will you? It's a little late to be prowling around these parts, huh? Yeah, it is, isn't it? Why don't you have a seat right over here for me? The audience would have bum-rushed the fucking stage. Let me tell you about Jonas. Jonas is 19 years old. He studies law in Munich. In his spare time, he likes to play soccer. Jonas has a secret which he thinks he cannot share with anyone, not even with his best friend or with his parents. He's just too afraid of anger, rejection and repulsion. Jonas knows that he has to suppress his sexual drive for his entire life. And he also knows that there will never be a loving and fulfilling partnership that he can enter. Because Jonas is a pedophile. Well, a woman who seems like she has some skeletons in her closet, I have some immediate objections. There is one person Jonas could have talked to. Since he has done the morally right thing and not acted on his impulses, he needs to talk to his doctor. His doctor will then immediately recommend him to a psychiatrist. At this point, Jonas can begin a stage of repairing his damaged psyche, and hopefully, eventually, curing him of his mental illness. Because that is what Jonas has. He does not have an unusual sexual orientation. He has a mental illness. Alright, continue, but I'm already shaking with anger. He's only attracted to female children between the ages of 6 and 12 years. But since he's aware of the consequences for the children, he has never given in to his sexual drive. Good for him. What does he want, a cookie? Has he sought help yet? That's all he needs to do. Get to the goddamn point already. By the way, I think it's no surprise that this video, which is not posted by any sort of official TED channel it would seem, has 946 likes to 5,600 dislikes. The court of public opinion has spoken, lady. You're testing my patience. What is pedophilia? And what is it not? In the ICD-10, the International Classification System for Illnesses 
pedophilia is coded as the sexual preference for pre-adolescent children. Wrong, 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 wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. You're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong. It is listed under the sexual disorders. Whether the persistent occurrence of sexual thoughts and feelings for pre-adolescent children have been acted upon or not is not relevant to the diagnosis. Well, it's relevant in a legal context, and how fucking dare you just skip past that? You have a narrative, and it's obvious. God, I hate this woman. We haven't found out yet why pedophilia occurs. There are biological, social, and psychological factors to it. It occurs unrelated to social economical status and unrelated to educational level. So generally speaking, anyone could be born a pedophile. I'd very much like a citation on that bitch. Generally speaking, you spoke way too fucking generally about that. You didn't cite the name of any institutions, reference any studies, or even give anecdotal evidence. You brushed straight past it. Huh, I wonder how it is I'm able to pick up on a bad argument like that. I must have had some practice somewhere. Think about it for yourself. What do you think? What percentage of child molesters are pedophiles? Have a guess. Is it 20%, 40, 60, maybe even 80%? You're about to say something incredibly fucking stupid, I can tell. The camera is up high because she's reaching into her ass to spew this information. You're about to make a critical error of definitions here. 100% of child molestation is committed by pedophiles. You are not going to try and list away a series of social and cultural niches that have explained in some new age bullshit sense that child molesters are not actually child molesters. This is going to be the final fucking straw I can tell. In fact, scientific studies indicate that only 20 to 30 percent. Get the fuck out of here! God damn, son of a bitch! <laughs>
End of story. Do we got that? Are we fucking clear? This is not okay. This is not normal. We can talk all we want about gender being a spectrum, about orientations being a spectrum, but there is a place where a line must be drawn. That place is where your preference is to physically and emotionally harm children. I fear a snowball effect. I fear a cult of criminals is attempting to hijack an age of liberal sexuality. This is a slap in the face to the LGBTQ movement. I'm still shaking from how much this hurts my soul. And I'm not even the kind of person to necessarily believe in a soul. Our children are sacred. Our children are our future. They need to be protected at all costs. It is my concern that this attempt to normalize criminal behavior will harm our children. We cannot allow this. We must realize when certain boundaries need never be crossed. Feel free to give any counterargument you can dare yourself to justify. You won't be banned or blocked, but you'll be condemned. Try me. If you like this video, please give it a like. If you want to see more, please subscribe to my channel, which is Dead Kennedy in Space. If you want to support me further, consider donating on Patreon or purchasing some of my work through Amazon or Teespring. Thank you, and I'll see you over the curve, Space Cowboys. Live there. On the mode of dust. Suspended. In a sunbeam. In a fast, cosmic arena.